Hey guys, what's up? It's Eiflin here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Master Rank 2 test. This is actually a test which can get a little bit difficult and might actually um, cause you some trouble if you don't know what you're doing. But in today's test, we're going to be using Mesa with a duration build. So we have our Augur Message, Narrow Minded, uh, Constitution, and Prime Continuity on here to up our duration. This is going to give us about a minute duration on our third ability, which is going to give us 90% uh, damage reduction because we have intensify on here i combine intensify with power drift to give myself more damage on my fourth ability it, it speeds it up or not speeds it up but puts it up to a uh, two times multiplier in terms of my damage instead of just being a very simple 1.8 times that i only had intensify on so having power drift on there definitely helps vitality for health prime flow for energy and then we have cruise projection on here to reduce the enemy's armor by 30 percent because enemies in this mission do have armor and then we move on to my Tigger's Prime. Tigger's Prime has a dual stat elemental mod build on here because you can actually get 100% status chance before multi-shot, which makes every single pellet that you shoot from this gun have a status effect applied to it. So because we have a predominant damage type of slash, it means that we're going to put out a lot of different slash, uh, slash procs on the enemies, and it's going to basically be insane damage moving on to our dual toxicist here dual toxicist is set up for peacemakers so we have hornet strike lethal torrent bar the fusion for our you know base damage then prime pistol gambit prime target cracker for crit chance crit damage convulsion and pathogen rounds for our corrosive damage and an anemic agility to increase our dps of our peacemaker because more fire rate is better plus we have the frenzy buff from dual toxicist and plan we get a headshot which will increase it even more and then we have the Orphus Prime on here with a Maiming Strike build. You can use the build that I showed in the um, in the stealth videos and you'll still do fine. But you might want to throw on a way to maybe get your health back. So like uh, take off Molten Impact for like Life Strike or something if you are struggling with this. Because these enemies can get your health down pretty fast. And it really comes down to how well you can make use of the, um, the parkour mechanics in the game. And also like how good your aim is because you want to drop the enemies very fast and you also want to be dodging like everything the enemies throw at you. One thing I will stress to you guys is don't spend too much time in the middle of the map, especially at the start of each wave. So there's three waves to this and these are going to be different enemies. So you're only going to see these enemies in arena missions on Sedna. And these guys are actually pretty difficult to take down. So don't spend too much time near the middle of the map at the start of every wave. Because if you do, all that's going to happen is you're going to get swarmed. And you want to be paying attention and making sure that you're killing the actual enemies that count towards um, the kill count up there. So things like drones and rollers, they aren't going to count towards your kill count. So you want to stay away from them. And you want to basically like avoid them or like put them out of their misery as fast as possible. And just kill the guys that will actually count towards your kill count. Like these butchers or these big guys here, the uh, the bombard looking guys. So just rush to the enemies as soon as possible. Also make sure that you are picking up the energy and health drops that spawn around the map. And uh, make sure that you're actually hitting your shots. Because like if you miss one shot, it's the difference uh, between life and death, honestly, whenever it comes to this. Because the enemies deal so much damage. So... That should have been our 12th kill, but I think that guy just kind of disappeared and wanted to play a big prank on us. But there's the first wave completed. Should be pretty easy. Make sure at the beginning of each round to cast your third ability. Otherwise, you will get absolutely melted. That 90% damage reduction here is a life changer or a life saver. So just make sure that you keep it up. So we just got disrupted. Make sure that you're hitting your shots unlike me. And make sure that you also don't fall off the map. Because if you fall off the map, you're going to get spawned in a random location where an enemy might be. And then you might die. And then, you know, that's... that's dying is bad. Dying is really bad. Put it in the comment section below. Just say dying is bad. And then that that's it. We get the point across to everyone who watches the video ever that dying is bad. So dying, not good. Still on the bad guy. Good idea. So... See, we have, I was going to say, see, we have low health, but we have 923, 823. Try not to jump into a big group of enemies like I just did, because if you do, like, if those drones, like, latch onto you, you're, you're basically done for. And make sure you're just killing the enemies as they spawn. Don't let them grip up, because if they grip up and they start getting X, Y, and Z proc on you, slash proc, whatever proc, puncture proc, impact procs, etc., you're basically done for, because... Just being caught out for like a split second can, you know, just just kill you. You know, that's straight up. You, you'll just die. So there we go. Second run completed. Each one of these rounds actually has modifiers. So you want to pay attention to the modifier. This one is scaling enemies. So it basically just means as we do well, 
uh, the enemies are going to get a lot more difficult. So I seen that that guy spawned to the left hand side of me at the start of the last round. So I was like, all right, well, let's see if the spawns don't change. So turns out that they don't. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, kill them as they spawn in, I guess. You might also want to cast your second ability if you have enough energy to do so, because that will disarm enemies if you get close to them. And it's also going to give you a damage buff. So keeping those enemies disarmed and crowd control a little bit always good like crowd control is never a bad thing at least in my opinion we have an enemy that has a lot of shield there but he will eventually die due to our slash box and you'll see that we had a bunch of health taken off us there we went down to 657 health because we got like too close to a lot of bad guys somehow i got it back don't know how we're getting it back i think it's because do i have carrier on no i don't have carrier on maybe we jump towards the health pack and maybe we picked it up and got it or maybe it's because we're killing the enemies maybe killing enemies makes you get health back i don't really know but got the health back i don't know how i got it back but we got it back but let's make sure not to get hit just try to jump around as much as possible and that's that's really the only advice that i can give what would make this test more difficult is if they were to um go ahead and give us a uh what's it called a, a timer so that's a run out of ammo there so i'm gonna be relying on peacemaker here to dish out a little bit more damage so we just got four kills and uh, I'm going to use my Orphos Prime instead of using the Dual Toxicist. All right, so we can just pick up more ammo for the Tickers. That works too. So definitely take a look around the map to see what you can see. And uh, if you can see um, ammo or energy, go ahead and pick it up. There's no downside to having more of either. So, you know, I actually need energy now to recast my third ability. Otherwise, we're going to die. I think I'm maybe making too big of a deal out of the fact that I don't have my free up. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill the enemies now. Like so. Focus on the uh, snipers because they're super easy to kill. Maybe we could just peacemaker a few bad guys. And there we go. We're done. That is the mass rank 22 test. It's, uh, it's kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing. If you're not jumping a bite a lot and if you're not dodging the bad guys. But there's actually like a hidden evasiveness stat in the game. Which you get by jumping around. So the more you jump around then the less likely you are likely the less likely you are to be hit by the bad guys. So that's a thing. And now you know that. So if you got the mass rank 22 and you didn't know that, now you do. Happy birthday. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button below. If you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.